Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Anthony J here with America's Weather Streaming Channel, updating everyone on what's going on in the tropical weather because we're starting to see some stirrings out here and I'll show you a Western Hemisphere satellite and you can see that there's a tropical disturbance down here over Mexico. That's the main area that we're watching. In fact, the Hurricane Center now is calling this potential tropical cyclone number one. So this is likely to be the first one of the season so far. There's another area out here that's uh, south of Bermuda, well east of Florida, that also could eventually track closer again to the U.S. and potentially become a tropical cyclone as well. Not a major threat, though, at this point, but this is the main area we're watching as it's fairly close to home, producing some heavy rain over areas of Mexico and Central America, and there are flood watches now in effect for much of southern Texas. So let me show you what's going on. Here's the system on the satellite zoomed in from mid to late afternoon on Monday, and you can see it circulating around. It's definitely a circulation trying to form, but it has to be closed down here. Uh, and that, then we would say this is a tropical depression or a tropical storm. Not quite there yet, uh, but we are definitely uh, watching it. Now, here's a look at some tracks. Where is this going to go? Now, it's going to kind of be move around kind of erratically down here for the next couple of days, but essentially should move towards the west or northwest towards the coast of northeastern Mexico, perhaps not far from Tampico, which is about there in about 72 hours. So that would be on sometime later Wednesday, Wednesday night, it could be moving inland, and some more paths here from some of the other models. You know, we're watching this. It's very likely that it's going to move kind of in this direction here. It's unlikely to take a path you know, farther north, we think, at this point. And as far as the intensity, now the models are showing, they're all showing it becoming a tropical storm eventually within about 24 hours or so, and maybe getting up to about 50, 60 knots. That's about 60, 70 miles per hour. So it could become a moderate to maybe fairly strong tropical storm, unlikely would be a hurricane. Now here we have the flood watches that have expanded now as they're covering much of southern Texas. And we are expecting some heavy rain, some flooding. A lot of this rain though is gonna be beneficial because we are in some areas of, of western Texas here towards the Rio Grande River, uh, seeing fairly serious drought conditions. And let me show you the future cast here. And we'll start this. Uh, late Monday evening. There's the system down here. Now it's still organizing, so it's going to move generally towards the west and northwest. It's not going to make landfall in Texas. It's going to take a while to organize. The center will form down here, and then by Wednesday late, it should move into Mexico. But the rain will continue and persist through Thursday, and then this is Friday, it should start to diminish by that time. So it's really from now through Thursday that we're most concerned about the rain. Again, we're not in drought across southeast Texas, but south central Texas and towards uh, the Del Rio area around San Antonio. This area we have severe and even some extreme drought. So we should get some relief from this as uh, the system moves on by. And even along the coast here, we're seeing some moderate to about severe drought near Corpus. And it has been so hot down here, we know already, and it's not even officially summer yet. We've had heat indices like 120 down here uh, across southern Texas. Uh, it's going to be much cooler this week. So we can thank Mother Nature for that. The rainfall totals here, this is through Friday morning, and we're talking about over a foot of rain down here southwest of Houston, around Matagorda, and uh, south of Austin, perhaps around San Antonio as well. But anywhere in these brighter colors could see up to several inches of rain in those areas that saw the heaviest drought uh, around the Del Rio area that you're seeing it now. Hopefully we will see some of these bigger totals because that may wipe out much of the drought there. And that would be something we'll be hope for. Now, the other system in the tropics is this one over here. Again, well east of Florida, southeast of Bermuda. This is forecast to form an area of low pressure and track towards the southeast coast during this week. I'll show you the future cast here, queuing it up uh, starting uh, Tuesday morning. You can see a little low pressure forms down here and tracks either west or more northwest. It could track towards Florida or track maybe more towards uh, the Carolinas. This is Friday. So it has no significant impact at all until the earliest Friday or Saturday. If it tracks a little farther south, better chance that it would develop as the water temperatures are warmer down here as you head towards Florida than they are farther to the north. So not a major threat, but that too could become the next tropical storm. We know it's going to be a busy hurricane season. So keep it tuned here 
to America's Weather Streaming Channel. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, and you can see us here on X as well. We'll be issuing lots of updates throughout the season on hurricanes and tropical storms, and of course the heat that's going across the country, and more severe weather that will be impacting areas of the nation over the next several days. Stay safe, everyone.